Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game Oli Oli World on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to be running the Windows version of this game through the Parallels Virtual Machine. And today I'm going to show you how to get that installed so you can run this game. There are also some graphical issues that we're going to fix as well. When you actually run this game through Windows 11 ARM by default, it's going to have some flickering backgrounds and also missing graphics too. So I'm going to show you how to fix those issues. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So I'm going to leave a link to this web address in the description, and this is going to take us to the Windows Insider Preview download of Windows 11 ARM. So if you're seeing this page, it means that you need to sign up to the free Windows Insider program, and I'm just going to show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to log into a Microsoft account. So you can use any Microsoft account. This process is completely free. And once we've done this, what we can do is to click on this blue button here for learn more. So I'll click on this now. And then what I'm going to do is to scroll down and then we'll get to this Windows Insider Program sign up. We're going to click this register button here. So here it's saying we're going to register for the Windows Insider Program. I'm going to click sign in now. So it's already detected that I've logged into my Microsoft account. I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to click I accept the terms of this agreement and then click register now. And when it says welcome to the Windows Insider program, we're now able to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So what we now need to do is to return to this web address that we had at the beginning. And now that we've logged in with a Microsoft Insider program account, this page has changed and we now have this blue button here, which is the Windows 11 ARM download button. So I'm gonna click this button now and it's going to download Windows 11 ARM VHDX for us. So this download is gonna take a little bit of time. It's 9.5 gigabytes in size. So whilst we're waiting for this to complete, we can move on to the next step. So next we're going to download and install Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we're gonna be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is gonna take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm gonna click the download now button here. And then we're gonna press okay. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm gonna to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install parallelsdesktop.dmg. So here we're gonna double click on the installer. And now we're gonna double click on install parallels desktop. Here we'll press open. And we're just gonna let this finish downloading. So now we're gonna enter our password and press okay. So once Parallels is installed, what we're gonna do is to double click on Parallels Desktop, and then we're gonna be met with this installation wizard. So here we're gonna press continue, and what we're gonna do is to create a new Windows 11 ARM virtual machine. So we're gonna select the right-hand side icon here and press continue. Now it's automatically detected that we've downloaded the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file in our downloads folder. So if this doesn't appear, what you can do is click choose manually, and then click select a file, and then we can go to our downloads folder and then select the Windows 11 ARM Insider Preview and then press open. So next we're gonna press continue. And because we want to maximize game performance, I'm gonna select games only as a primary use and press continue. So here we can set a name for our virtual machine. I'm just gonna leave it as default and press create. And now we're gonna let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 ARM is being installed and this is going through the setup process. Now it's going through the setup process, we just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're gonna press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're gonna minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So one of the main things to do when you first start is obviously let the updates all complete. A handy tip as well is to right click on the desktop here and then click display settings. And here we're gonna configure the display resolution. So scaling is something that I always change to 100%. This is because sometimes games will crash if they're run at a higher display scale. So now we're going to to install Steam. So I'm gonna click on the Microsoft Edge icon here, and then we're gonna type in the web address steampower.com, and then we're gonna click this button on the top right called Install Steam, and then we're gonna be downloading and installing the Windows version of Steam so that we can play it on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So once that's downloaded, we're gonna press Open File, press the Yes button here, 
And now we're going to go through the Steam setup process. So here we're going to press next, select English, select install here, and let Steam install. Now we're going to finish and press run Steam. So now we're just going to let Steam update. So if you don't have a Steam account, you can go ahead and create a new account for free. However, I'm going to log into my existing account now. So if you haven't purchased Oli Oli World already, then we can go ahead and search for the game here. However, I've already made a purchase of this game, so it's already in my library. So I'm gonna to go to the library and then we're gonna search for Oli. And then we're gonna click on this entry in the library and then we're gonna click install. Here we're gonna click next and then I agree. And now it's gonna go ahead and install for us. So here we're gonna press finish and we're just gonna wait for this to complete its installation. So this is now completed installing and it's just verifying now. And now we're ready to go ahead and play the game. So I'm gonna press the play button here. It's asking us to allow us to make changes. We're gonna press yes. And now the first time setup is completing, so just let that complete. And now the game is loading. So it's saying here that we need to insert a controller. So what I do recommend that you do is to get some kind of wired controller because that's gonna work best with parallels. So what I do now is to plug in my Xbox One wireless controller via USB. So I've got my micro USB attached here. Parallels will detect that we've inserted a new USB device. We're gonna click the Windows 11 virtual machine to connect to this controller too. So this is the USB going into the parallels virtual machine. I do find that the USB controller works best that's because we have some issues with Parallels accepting a shared Bluetooth connection. So plug your controller in if possible. So we're gonna select here, and now my controller is attached. I can go ahead and press the A button. Now I'm just going to accept the terms and conditions. Privacy policy a few of these around. Next. So I can definitely see that there are some graphical issues. So you can see like some of the background is popping in and out of the game. So you can see it's kind of playable. I mean, the main blue track is kind of working, but it is a bit distracting that all of the kind of background is popping in and out. So one fix I'm gonna try is to go to start menu and then shut down the virtual machine. Then we're gonna to go to control center on parallels and click the cog icon. Then we're gonna to go to hardware, then we'll scroll down to boot order, then we're gonna click advanced, and then I'm gonna apply this boot flag. So you can find this on the Parallels article on the Apple Gaming Wiki website. We're gonna to scroll to the bottom here for the flickering texture or invisible objects fix. Then we're gonna copy this into the boot flag section. So we're gonna control click and press copy. We're gonna copy this command into the boot flags field. So here we're gonna paste this here and then press okay. And then basically we're going to go ahead and launch the virtual machine and then launch all the other world again. And now this is looking better. There's no flickering in the background anymore. Let's press continue. Yeah, so that's completely fixed now. You can see that none of the background items are broken anymore. So this is kind of working. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. So anyway, this is how you get Oli Oli World working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other game tutorial videos on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.